Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a short energy checkup for water signs. I'm gonna do each sign individually and you will find the timestamp in the description box. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box as well. So keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a story and you decide who is who in this story. So if you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. Today I will start with Scorpio. Let's see, Scorpio. Three cards for you, three cards for your person, one outcome. This is your person. This is the outcome. Let's start with your person. The Two of Swords the page of the knight of cups sorry and the word for you the four of one the four of pentacles the nine of swords and judgment this person is with you keep in mind as i told you this could be vice versa as well this person is in the dark with you they don't know exactly where they are standing and what you want from them, Scorpio. They are trying to understand your feelings and your actions, but what you are doing is very confusing to this person. They tried sometimes to test the water and see if you are in love with them or you are interested in them and they have an open heart to reach you but still this person is blind around you you are giving them a very confusing signals and they don't know what to do so I believe this person this week is between just giving you that cup of love of them because even while they are holding that cup, they don't know if it's their good idea to give you the cup or not. I believe this person is tired from this and they are thinking about finding a way to put an end to the situation. So maybe they will let go of everything or maybe they will go all in and see your reaction. This person right now is between go all in or all out and see what you will do. This is the last card in their hand to play to understand where are you standing in this relationship? For you, you have the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, then Judgment. With these two cards in the end here for you and your person, I believe something major will happen this week. There is something will happen. You are sometimes in that four of pentacles, pulling back from this person, giving them the cold shoulder as if you are not really interested. Then some other times you are all in your head about the situation and you don't know what to do to make it happen. You are giving a very confusing signals to this person. And this person is almost almost done from this game i don't feel that you're playing a game with them scorpio i feel that you are 
deep inside you confused. And because you have that mysterious personality towards people, you always give people the impression as if you are holding a secret inside you. On top of this confusion, this person is lost with you. They don't know what to do. But I believe you will take, you will see and analyze the situation between you and this person and you are going to take a, a decision. And I feel this decision is based on the on the action of this person. I, as I told you, I feel this person is going to do this this week. This week, it's either they are, they will ask you to accept the cup of love, or they will let, or they will drop the situation. They gonna do something major, and see your reaction. And based of that, they will decide it's either in or out. This person is not willing to wait anymore. And I believe based on what they will do, you will take the right decision. Because I feel you are interested in this person, but you are not, the, you are not ready to be in a relationship. It's not about, this confusion is not about the person. It's about you not being ready to be in a relationship. Not with this person or not with any other person. But this is not about lack of interest towards this person at all. I believe you are interested in this person and you are starting to develop type of, I can't say love, maybe feelings towards them but you're afraid. You don't know if it's a good idea to be with someone seriously, in a serious relationship, because what how you feel right now, based on what you see from this person and from what you are feeling, it seems that this situation is developing to go in a kind of a commi committed relationship or something serious. And you are terrified from that. Let's see the outcome. The Queen of Wands. I believe you will take your chance with this people, with this person, sorry. Maybe as long as pe the word people came to my mouth, maybe you are dealing with a situation like it doesn't have to be a love interest for some of you. But I believe with this Queen of Wands, as I told you, something major will happen this week. And you will try. You will gather the courage to try. And I believe with this judgment here, you know, that the problem is in you. This person has nothing to do with this. You are afraid to start something new, but I believe with this judgment, you will study yourself and you will point your weak point and take the right decision. I believe something will happen this week to take this situation or, per or relationship to a higher level. Thank you so much, Scorpio. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I put something new, you will be notified. If you will check the channel, you can find all the readings for the month of March. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. I will move on to Pisces. Welcome back to the Deep Tarot Pisces. I'm going to take three cards for you. And three cards for your person. It's 
seems for water signs there is something serious will happen this week. Your person have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Cups and Temperance. And for you, the Six of Swords, the Eight of Wands and the High Priestess. You took a decision, Pisces, to move on from a situation because you didn't find what you were looking for. I feel for some of you, you are dealing with a Scorpio because the reading of for Scorpio was almost the opposite of what I'm seeing here. Maybe for not for not for all of you, but for some of you, I believe you are dealing with a Scorpio. You took a decision that it's time to leave the situation because you are going in circles with this person and it seems that you will not reach anywhere there. This person was not clear about what they want. But I feel the moment you will take the decision to leave, this person will feel the energy and they will come clear to talk to you. They will open up and tell you the truth with this Ace of Swords. Because with this Six of Swords here, I don't feel you left. I feel that this is a decision in your mind you are planning to put in reality. You didn't leave yet, but you took a decision that it's time to leave. And I feel this person picked up on this energy. They felt that you're leaving. And I believe with this feeling coming from your side, this person didn't have any other thing to do but to come clear with you. Because they don't want you to leave. This person took the decision to open up to you and tell you exactly how they feel or what's going inside them, making them undecisive in this. They will let you know the story that they are hiding inside them about why they are doing what they are doing. And I believe this person, after they will get the feeling that you're leaving, they will come to you with this Ace of Swords, with the Eight of Wands energy. This person will let you, will open up completely to you. They will tell you everything. And you will feel at that time, when this person will start to talk, they will not stop. They will tell you exactly why they are afraid of opening up to anyone. Like, this person will deal with you based on my feelings as if you are a psychologist, you know? When you go for your psychologist and you start to open up trying to find a relief from them or trying to get a word from them to calm you down. I believe this person will come to you telling you everything, waiting for you to tell them how they can heal and what they have to do. This person is afraid of commitment afraid of a serious relationship and as i tell you as i told you before i believe this is this is the main energy for water signs this week it's time for a breakthrough 
in a situations or relationships. You are on the fence with this person. It seems this week or the energy of this reading, maybe it will take a bit more than a week. This person will open the fence and will let you in. Not because they did their healings and they are ready based on their fear of you leaving. And I feel this idea about leaving, the energy that you sent to this person was very necessary for them to open up. You did the right push to let this person put the guard down. And I believe this person with this Knight of Cups will offer you. I can't say their love. But they will offer you. Their will to try with you. They will let you know that even if they are afraid, they don't want you to go and they are going to try with you and to go to a higher level in this relationship or situation. And with this high priestess here from your side and the temperance from this person's side, I feel this high priestess, which is you, hold the secret of healing. You hold the knowledge to take this person's hand in the way of healing and balancing themselves. And I think what will happen between you and this person will give them the chance to heal and get that balance back inside them. This person will be balanced, healed and mature enough to know It is not wrong to open up to people. Opening up to the person in your life or a friend or a lover or whoever close to you is not something weak. If you have the ability to open up to people, that means you healed yourself. So you will open up and tell the person in front of you what you are holding inside because this is not a weak point inside you anymore. When we try to hide something deep inside us and not open up to anyone because like our soul knows that we are still weak and this like story of our life or the feelings that we have we are this is our weak point if we'll open up to someone in front of us they can use it against us because of that if we are not healed we are always scared to let anyone know our weakness when we start to open up and have the courage and the strength to tell the person in front of you how you feel and what you're hiding inside you. That means this is not a weak point anymore and nobody can use it against you. Because of that, you, you are brave enough now to let other people know. And this is what this person will help you to reach. This person will help you to achieve that type of balance inside you. Let's see the outcome. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there is a little bit of waiting, but this waiting is not you waiting for them. There is a bit of waiting while you are with this person because they have still healing process they have to go through 
and you have a, a role in that to help them. So before you live the love story that you dreamed about, you will be the healer to this person first. So that love story that will be between you and this person will be on pause for a while till that healing end. Thank you so much for being with me, Pisces. I hope that was a helpful reading. You really have the role of a healer in this person's life. So meditate and pray to be like ready for that because this is something very big. Good luck for you, my dear. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. We move now to Cancer. Three cards for your person, Cancer. Three cards for you. Keep in mind, this is a general reading and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a story and you decide who is who in this story. One outcome, then we we'll start. For your person, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and Death. For you, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. For the three water signs, I had this Knight of Cups in the same place. For you, for Pisces, and for Scorpio. Same card in the same place. I feel from the three of you this week an energy of transformation. Something will change. Something will flip. In your life either in your love life or in your career whatever you have in mind whatever is your main focus for this week after the per your person or the situation that you are in there was a lot of juggling here and someone was trying to escape from this situation. Your person felt, or the situation, I'm going to refer to it as a person, and then you take it as you feel it. This person was about to leave, based on the feeling that you are with this page of pentacles serious towards them. I'm not saying they were not serious, they are, but they were so scared that this situation will develop and change to a higher level very quickly. This situation was going very fast on this person based like ba based on the pace that they are doing things this situation was going fast for them this is what they try to convince themselves with the reality is this person felt the serious energy that coming from you and they panicked This person like you or maybe in love with you. But when they felt that you are interested as well and you are trying to make this relationship a serious one, this person gets scared. This person was thinking that they will fall in love with you 
and maybe you are not serious or you are not you are playing and they were juggling the situation if you are serious or not you are playing them or not then suddenly they felt that you are not playing with them and you are serious toward this situation so they tried to run you know when i hope i'm i'm explaining myself right because i'm feeling energy i don't know if i can put it in word you know when someone push towards you run after you and you are just ignoring them but the moment that you will turn towards them and let them know that you are interested exactly as they are they get scared because things are not a game anymore it's it's going to be serious so they will run away from you this is what happened with this person but when they saw you i think you catched that energy from them so you stand and you, you now you're standing in your place focusing somewhere else trying to see what you have what you have to do you are working but thinking about the situation what i feel for this week cancer this person is going between the two of pentacles and the knight of cups each time you try they will run after you and you will run from them then when you see this person start to be like determined let's say you try to open up to them when they will feel that energy from you, they will run away. They are between running away and give you the cup of love. And this circle was going on and on for a while now. This person is always on and off. When you are on, they are off. When you are off, they are on. They want you to come, but they don't want. They want you to be for, with them, then they don't want. Like, this person wants you to stay arm length from them but not to go and i feel you put a lot of energy in this and you are tired from that and to be honest with you based on what i'm seeing and feeling here you have the six of swords and they have death i can't something will end in this situation this week but I can't say the energy will flip and change with this death or it will come to an end. Based on these two cards, I don't know if this is a transformation or an end. I don't feel like I can answer this question based on what I'm seeing. I will open the outcome if it's not still not clear i will going to take i will take clarifications on these cards the 9 of wands based on this i feel you know before i start i to talk i want to take clarification on this death and one on this 6 of swords let's see i felt something but let me be sure I was focusing on the six of swords but this temperance jumped on that death oh oops you know what i will take all the open card and go for this see 
this is how I feel. This person will come to you with this Queen of Swords energy to tell you that they want something serious with you, but they need healing. And there is a lot of talking between you and them. And I feel you will be... I still feel the same energy from all water signs. You will be, you will play the, the healer role in this person's life. Your loving energy and your determined and hard work that you will put to help this person balance and heal their problem about this person has two problems. They are afraid of commitment and they have a trust issue. And usually these two problems most of the time come together because you always, if you have a trust issue, you are afraid of commitment. This person will tell you, they will open up to you and tell you exactly what's their problem and ask you to help. And I feel with this Eight of Wands here, you will put that energy and effort to help this person heal. And that will be with this Nine of Wands here, here as an outcome, a hard process. This is... what you came in this person's life to do. This is your mission in their life. And I feel you are going to do your mission. It will not be easy, but I don't think you will let them go. You will help this person to heal. Then after that, the relationship will change between you and them for something mature, serious, and grounded. Well, thank you so much for being with me, my friends. I hope these are helpful readings in a way. I hope there is something you heard here like you will use in your life or something you needed to hear and you found it here. Wish you all the best. So if you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. Thank you so much for the love and support you're sending me. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.